Let's get started by creating a new React project. npx create React app. And we are going to call this project React Firebase. As usual, this is going to install React, React DOM, and the initial structure of the application using these libraries. Okay, now let's install the Firebase CLI that will allow us to set up a new project in Firebase. So this is npm install minus g Firebase tools. We need to log in using the command line interface. So this is Firebase login. I'm already logged in. I'm just going to log out and log in again, just to show how is the entire process of logging in. Firebase logout. And now I'm going to log in again. This is going to redirect us to this sign in page. And here we need to give permissions to Firebase using our account. So Firebase CLI wants to access your Google account. Okay, I'm going to allow access to perform these actions. See, edit, configure, and delete your Google Cloud Platform data. View and administer all your Firebase data and settings. View your Cloud Platform projects. Okay, I'm going to allow this. And we are successfully logged in with the Firebase CLI. Let's go back. Now let's CD into our React project. This is CD React Firebase. And here we are going to initialize a project. So this is Firebase in it. Okay. And here we need to select hosting. We can also set up GitHub Actions to pay our application. For now, we are just going to use the CLI. And I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to select create a new project here. Okay. The project ID will be React Firebase Pragmatic. And I'm going to use the same name for the project. And this is going to generate the project for me using the Google Cloud Platform. Okay, our Firebase project is ready. We just need to complete some other settings. So here we need to enter what do you want to use as your public directory? In our case, we're going to use build. That is the default folder where React builds the application. And configure as a single app. Yes. Set up automatic builds and deploys with GitHub. Not for now. The Firebase project has been successfully initialized. So now let's build our React application. So this is npm run build. We're going to build and create all the static assets into the build folder that we are using here as the public directory for our Firebase project. And now we should do Firebase deploy. And it's going to deploy our application using the build folder into Firebase. Okay, the deploy has been completed. So from here, we can access the project console here we can see the first version of our application that has been deployed. If we go back, here we can also access the URL of our project, that is React Firebase Pragmatic .web .app. I'm going to access that link. And as we can see here, we have our React application deployed using Firebase hosting. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.